it's uh, by casualty you will find one that will open the whole day but they will open in the morning then at two o'clock or three o'clock they will close it's funny normally mm -hmm. the, the bars was you can't call restaurants they have food alcohol coffee they have everything but they close early but you see bars like the beach bar mm -hmm. just drink just say on the drinks it's doing all day long open. Yeah, they don't In the go morning, is the brother in law. In the last time, the brother in law come. Mm. And I go until 11, some days even until 12, they don't close. Yeah, but. <coughs> Sorry. David, coffee is a bit different, you know. Mm. But a lot of coffee shop here or a bus here, they will close the open in the morning and at 2 or a three or a four, if they have a lot of people, they will close. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't know, are you? <laughs> you contaminate with your laughing. <laughs> Oof, you spike my nose. Ooh, don't take your nose. Oh. Hello guys. Oh my God. <laughs> what is he today? I don't know why. Maybe it's the tea. I, 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 I need to know what happened. That tea. Uh -huh. It's just nicotine. Mm. So I am Marie. I'm David. Kenyan, based in Spain, a village girl, was born and grow and raised in the village. Are you? Yeah, I was oh. born and raised in the village. Mira que bien. Mm -hmm. And you? Muy interesante. Yo soy español. I am Spanish. Born and raised in the city. Yeah. And? And? Mm -hmm. and growing not too much, but he was growing. <laughs> yeah. He was growing. He's, he's a gentleman. And mm -hmm. growing old, but no up. <laughs> it's okay. That's why some pe when some people ask to me, I say, I was living here, I born here, but I never say I was growing here. Because when I say that, they look at me and say, oh really, you was growing? <laughs> 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 yeah. So guys, thank you so much, continue subscribing, we are moving the road to 10,000 subscribers, so we hope we reach there very soon. Ah, very well. Mm -hmm. We hope we reach 10,000 subscribers very soon. For our returning uh, subscribers, thank you so much. We love you. And for our new viewers, please welcome and consider subscribing our name channel. Our channel name is David and Mary. This is David. Mm. 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 This is the sweet Mary. My king. <laughs> My king. So kindly consider subscribe. Might not like touch the, your culture, or maybe I will base what I see in my home, my hometown, than what you see in your hometown. But some of the culture appear everywhere, everywhere in Kenya, or even some parts of Africa, you know. So, we are going to see to some of those cultures and uh, before we go, we start, kindly like, and subscribe. comment, subscribe, and share. So, let's start. Number one, I was writing here. I have been writing all of them from some time putting into my yeah, Everybody mind. have to see how much fun is it with the <laughs> Mini Mouse. <laughs> Mini Mouse. Oh, Goofy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, in this country, I find it very strange. Even I always see my mother-in-law. It's not possible to see like that in uh, in Kenya. But maybe those some people who live in the city might do that. In this country, you find old women meet at the cafe in the bash or bar shops 
Yeah, every morning some people if don't drink coffee, they are not there. Yeah, but in Kenya, they will only go drink in the house. But Imagine it in Kenya, for example, one day disappear the tea. Nobody can to drink tea. What gonna be happen with the people? No, they, we have, but they drink in the house. Just imagine it one day, no more tea in Kenya. Oh my God, my grandma will cry. That is the same here with the coffee. If in the morning, me personally, if I don't drink coffee in the morning, I'm, I'm not me. Yeah, I know. I don't know where myself. <laughs> I know, but in Kenya we drink, but we don't go in the bar. We drink in the house. But here you find that everyone. is any one of the culture we want to talk today. They, are, they don't have bars like here. No, in the you town, in the town in the we have. In the town we have. In the yeah, village. But you see the people every morning they are going to drink tea or coffee. In the bar? Yeah. It's not normal. The young people. So. Maybe the old very less. But here, even those who can't walk, they will go. Their children will push them to the bar to drink coffee, to drink alcohol, to eat tapas. Every party the people yeah. have here is an excuse to go in the bar with the children. Yeah, but in Kenya it's a different case. We drink tea at home or if I can't drink at home, I will go to my neighbor and drink there. But here, everyone, my mother-in-law, whenever she wake up, the first thing is to get ready and go in the coffee shop or in the bar, stay there, the whole day she will come back and later. In Kenya, yeah, 30, 40 years ago case. was different here mm -hmm. too because in that season the people, mm -hmm. you see the old houses we have here mm -hmm. in the compound, mm -hmm. all the doors closed and the neighbor had to go from, for two days uh, outside mm -hmm. and they leave, leave the, the key to the neighbor and he take care of the house mm -hmm. or if they have a dog or of the children have to go in the school, they, they take up the children. Mm -hmm. Now, but now no. Mm. No. Yeah, so I find this culture very strange. The old people every day go in the bar to assemble there. And they were celebrating everything together, like a family, the, yeah. all the neighbors. Mm -hmm. But in Kenya, they open during holiday. They will open during weekend. Yeah, but that is not mm -hmm. happened before. I think that is happening now for the virus. Mm -hmm. They get that, that custom. No, but when I, when I was here, even before they were closing, before virus, they were closing. Somewhere of them. Supermarket. They closed. Oh, the supermarket are yeah. closed. The supermarket closed all week, holidays and the weekends. Mm. So, number three. A lot of people here in Spain, even the old people, prefer to stay in the city and the town than living in the farms in the village. While in Kenya, a lot of old people prefer to live in the farms. Even if someone was working in the city, when they get old, they will carry their things and they go back in the uh, village. Me too. I was growing in the farm. Mm -hmm. I was living in the farm. But... No <laughs> growing. <laughs> I think but, the child is broken. <laughs> but it's, it's not happening, you see. Even... It, Recently, we, I was asking my mother-in-law if we have a farm, we have a farm and a house there, if we can go and live in the farm. She said she's not into living in the farm. She cannot live far away from the neighbors. She prefers to live in the town or a city than going to live in the farm. You, yeah, see? you know she can't walk to, to fair. No, but it's culture here. She yeah. has the custom to stay with the friends, drinking the coffee in the yeah. morning, here she, in the corner. She yeah. thinks she will miss the, the friends and the neighbors. But in Africa, whenever they get old, they leave the city and go back in their farms or in the village. Mm. So, number four. Here, I always find calls, yeah? This is strange in, in Kenya. In Kenya, you cannot call someone you are asking for, someone to go and uh, be like, uh, be included, uh, like uh, apply for 
death insurance. Huh? Like when I die, you will call, come take my body if it is to burn or to burn. That's culture shocking. Even I was shocked, really? I need to take insurance for my death? It's not possible. Yeah, the, all the people don't care, even they like to borrow the, the course in the family. And they go all the week, especially the party days of the people are die. In Africa, David, the company that call every time you have to pay money for the day. Why do you think in Africa they borrow the people in the house? Because they not don't want to go to the cemetery too. They don't, it's not to bury in the house. We bury in the, in the farm, in the compound. Yeah, but close yeah. to the house. Yeah, but we don't call the companies to giving money every of time. Of course, it's your, house, it's your property. Mm -hmm. But here, you have to pay for money, even if it is cremation. You have to pay to the company that will come to take your body that is dead to that place. You know? Yeah, that in, place is from the government. In Africa, you cannot pay. Even from if. Where do you, think they, do you think they take the salary for the people who are working there? They had to pay them and they had to pay the material they use for uh, repairing that things there. I know, David, but listen, you don't get me very well. I'm saying the, from like now, your mother has been paying for your death from the time you were born. Yeah, yeah? the insurance. The insurance. Yeah. In Africa, that thing is, is not possible. Maybe now it is starting, but few people will go for that. And what happens if you want to borrow some family in the, in the cemetery? They will buy, the same time we, di we discover this family doesn't have their owners, then the little family that is there will have to pay for this cemetery. See. That same time. Yeah. yeah. But it's not normal like uh, you are asking, you call me, oh, you need... But maybe they how much pay? For example, for say something, maybe they pay 2,000 euros. But here you still paying every month, from, every month, From the time month. you get a baby. They no, don't force you to pay specifically some money. Just that, that you can. You are giving that you can every time. But finally, when you finish to pay or you die, or, or the people who are you paying that insurance this die, how much you are paying? Oh my God, I come to buy all the cemetery. It's a, it's a lot. Yeah, they are also too much. That is, that is why all the reason more. Because the people prefer to cremate and nothing more. Yeah, but even to cremate the company that will carry to take you to cremate, you don't pay for that? Yeah, you still pay insane. Then when you cremate, you take the the remain, how do you call it? The ash. The ash. And you start to pay. Don't pay no more. But if you leave your, your finance there in the cemetery, you will be continued paying. But why do I need to pay for death? From, okay, why do my mother or my parents need to pay? Just when I, I'm born, I'm still very small, they start to pay for insurance of my death. Yeah. In Africa, that thing, a lot of people even don't know that. Even if when I tell... You burn because you never know when you will die. Some, if, some people are, are dying babies. I know. If I tell my grandparents or my parents to start paying for the death of their children, they will like, you, you want the, our children to die? Someone will curse you. <laughs> Everything not... you tell me, I know. I understand. Uh, that I told you a bit of time. It's incredible in this uh, country. <laughs> so here we have companies that will be taking money. They, sometimes they always call me This too. is all the reason because mm. I want to go to Kenya. They will also call me, oh, we are offering, we have, they, they give even offer. Like when you I die, pay please very less. make a beautiful garden around me. Nothing more, I don't need more. And don't put cross in my coffin, please. Why? Because the cross is not allowed from God. It's uh, how to say the opposite of blessed. The cross. Yeah, that is the cross. It's where Jesus Christ died. Where they, where he paid for all our sins. Mm -hmm. So it's not for us. Mm -hmm.
No. So you you will not see any Christians in the cemetery don't have cross. Mm -hmm. So here is a culture shock. Even for me, I'm a foreigner here, but the companies call me. Oh, we have offer for the death insurance. Oh my God. <laughs> I was working in, in the company a little time, mm -hmm. in that company of insurance, uh, and they bring to me mm -hmm. to a room, a big room, where they have a lot of coffins. Mm -hmm. And they told me, now, right now you work with us, if you want, you can to choose one. Oh my God, I'm not thinking to die yet. <laughs> <coughs> I think insurance company, they give offer like that. I asked him, do you, do you have anyone with bathroom because I'm pleased all the time? <laughs> but when you die, you want to With bathroom, with the flowers. Say, Are you serious? I said, oh man, when I die, I don't care what you put me. Do you think I wish you? I don't need to choose. But if they employ you, they use them much more cheaper. Finally, we're going to be rooting in six months. Well, no, but when you, you see when you are working with them, they prefer you buy because it's the offer they are giving you. No, they give me free. Yeah, because you are their, you are working in their company. I think maybe they it's have benefit. too much and they want to make this no, experience. No, it's something. benefit. It's benefit to people who are working there. <laughs> so, number five. You can decide if you want they cremate their body or they bury. Surely, if you are going to tell my grandfather to decide if they have to burn his body or, or my grandmother to burn her body, they will curse him. I don't think they, they have that kind of de decision. Uh -huh. But they will tell you, when I die, this is my farm, you bury me there, you know. For us, it's culture, the, if you, me and you, if we die and this is our house, we have specific place where I was born, like specifically in Luya land. There is a way they have to bury you depending to how your house is. Like the door, they will have to make sure the man of the house, his, uh, his grave is corresponding to the door of the house, you know. They have specific, if you have to buy in the, in the left, or you have to buy in the right, you know. Do you think I will complain? But it's, it's our culture. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't care. I just thought you put a nice garden around me because when everybody see to my co my coffin, mm. I want to make it feel nice to people. When yeah. You see my coffin, you see flowers. Yeah, but you hear people decide either to cremate or to bury. I remember even if you don't see him, but he was dying with a very nice smile. Mm -hmm. That is, you can't fight in mm -hmm. the trap. <laughs> you can't drive a, a smile. Uh -huh. Okay, another thing I find it. <laughs> I find it. I, I think this is like a, to the government decision. I'm not sure if it is a culture. But uh, you see, when you are making your shop, like you make your bar or your saloon, anything that uh, the customer should come inside, you have to consider everyone, you know? You have to consider the old, the young, the children, the disabled, you know? You have to consider any that when you are making, you have to make it very comfortable for those people who can't walk. The customers are like a fool. Yeah. Everyone's are healthy. Yeah. Everyone's are sane. So you have to consider like uh, the entrance should be comfortable to the disabled if they are have the like uh, the wheelchair is comfortable for them to go inside. The young people they are comfortable also to use this place the the old people who can just walk with the stick they are comfortable to do this and same applies to the bathroom you have to make the bathroom comfortable to everyone the disabled can be able to use the bathroom so you know in africa or in kenya specifically that thing the government doesn't look for that you know, is you look for your life 
I make my shop, I do what I want. But the thing so long as I pay the bills. But I'm not sure if it is a culture or it's the government enforcement to do that. Hmm? No, we have some rules. It's the rules. But uh, everything normally you make by yourself because you want your customer gonna be happy. Mm -hmm. So, number six. Here in Spain, you cannot go to your neighbor, most of the cases, but unless, unless you know that neighbor very well, you can go and borrow something like, uh, ask for them something like, uh, can I have salt? Can I have this? Can I have this? <coughs> but in, uh, in Africa, more so in the rural area, it's normal for me to go to, the, I can even cross like four or five neighbors going to ask for salt, going to ask for sugar, going to ask yeah, for Yeah, that is all the, all the thing I miss here. And I told you, the, the people before, 40 years ago, was like that. Mm. We are living together, we are living like a family. Every everybody in the street say good morning, good afternoon, good night. Now <laughs> you pass close to the people like if it is a dog. So, <laughs> so here, no, in my country I can even take a a, a metal. I go to the neighbor. I, I don't know where I, I, I am. Have, I, I look like if I am living in another planet. <laughs> Listen, I was growing so different, and in this town, this country changes so much. Listen, in Africa. You can even go to your neighbor with the metal. I don't have uh, the the much stick. You see, but my my neighbor there, close to the house, he's the old people, that kind of old people. When he talk with you, he don't greet you and no more. He goes, hey, da da da. And if you listen to him, you you will be thirty or minutes or one hour there and listen to him. They're talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But you see the other people in the in the street, they don't yeah. say even hello, yeah. how are you? Why are you going yeah. to say that, 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 50 minutes only? Yeah. No, Another thing. Mm. People living in the farm, they close everywhere. There, you can, sometimes you cannot even see inside. But in Africa, everywhere is open. Few people will close. But here, everything is completely closed. The people living in the farm, they close everywhere, everywhere. You can't even sometimes see, see inside. But it's opposite in Africa. I can cross to someone's farm going to another farm, you know. It's open. Mm. And you will find, find like same family living in one place, but open. This is the house of my father. This is the house of my uncle. This is the house of my brother. That is the house of who? But here in Spain, it's, it's not normal. It's they just close everywhere, you know? Like you see Daniel close the farm. The other people close like I'm that. I'm even closing someone uh, coming inside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's strange here. I don't know if they are closing that because of the thieves. Or they just like to close like that. Mm -hmm. So another thing I find weird in Spain, greetings. I'm not sure if it, even if it is here only in Rota or it's everywhere, all over Spain. Especially in Andalusia. These people, are their greetings is very weird. Yeah. See, I like you are passing and then you pass through someone you know or else just friends or family or people you know like you will find men men say uh hola cojones hola picha <laughs> ¿Qué pasa, cojones? ¿Qué pasa, ¿Qué pasa, cojones? ¿Qué pasa, picha hola coño Ahí voy a que con oh, plata barro. those are weird greetings <laughs> hmm? or someone is asking you hola, hola. Instead of you saying hola, or like we say in Kenya, jambo, jambo. All the ones say hello, or goodbye. Yeah. Hola, hola adios. Hola, adios. <laughs> hola, hasta luego. 
<laughs> so, and, say, Marikita, hasta luego. And they, they are saying like that, but this person sometimes is not looking at you. It's giving an answer, but it's busy going. And that is good lucky who see to you because someone of them say, Hey, so, hey I, I don't need to yeah. you. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> Yeah, but some of them are like uh, they don't see you. They are not inside. They don't hear. They don't see. They, they are, are in, in the, his mind. His they mind. are in their own world. <laughs> so for me, I find that one to be so weird. Eh? Mm. So next thing, I don't know number eight. We we go back to the coffee shops in Africa or in Kenya specifically. There is shop for alcohol or a beer, and then there is shop for coffee and snacks. Here, coffee for shop, uh, for shop for like a cafe, is same as a bar. Like the beach bar, they don't give tapas, they don't give food, they don't give nothing. Just But alcohol, it's a shop. It's a bar. For us, a bar is different for a coffee shop. Coffee shop offers tea, Here, coffee, Here, you like see that. the name coffee, mm. like that, Cafe Buddha. But It, they say coffee, tea, alcohol. Alcohol, you see? Beer, beer, whiskey, cognac. Everything. Everything, everything. And they have tapas too. Here they don't have tapas, they have on some, those cake. Some coffee I, I don't know tapas. for in the lunch time because I never mm -hmm. go in that time, but I don't see nobody eating for the just toasted toast the bread in the breakfast. Mm -hmm. We do everything you want, butter, oil, tomato, jam. Mm -hmm. And these shops, you know what happened with these shops? They open in the morning, most of them. It's uh, by casualty you will find one that will open the whole day, but they will open in the morning. Then at two o'clock or three o'clock they will close. It's funny. Normally mm -hmm. the the bars, whose you can't call restaurants, they have food, alcohol, coffee. They have everything, but they close early. But you see bars like the beach bar, mm -hmm. just drink, just say on the drinks. It's doing all day long open. Yeah, they don't. In the go morning home. is the brother in law, in the lunch time, the brother in law come, mm. and I go until 11, some days even until 12, they don't close. Yeah, but. <coughs> Sorry. David, coffee is a bit different, you know. Yeah. But a lot of coffee shop here or a bus here, they will close the open in the morning, and at two or three, Or for if they have a lot of people, they will close. Then they will go for siesta. After they will come and open. At for example, my friend in that bar close seven. to the hospital, he close at four and don't come the whole long. But because he live in Puerto de Santa Maria, and he's alone in the bar. And he came to contract to other people because he just make money in the morning. He don't want to still paying other one for do, don't do nothing in the afternoon. But you know it's weird in Kenya, the shops, if it is... And they prefer to don't have and go to lunch the house. Mm -hmm. Okay, another thing. Here, during Christmas, or the Spanish people, I think even if those who are uh, in other countries, they practice their culture when they are there. Christmas, we have gifts. In Africa, people will open gifts specifically on December 25 in the morning uh, while others will open in the afternoon. In, in the, I grew up in the village, we never had that one. So long as for me, they buy for me a nice clothes and the shoes and they cook nice food. I didn't mind about gift, you know. But uh, that was my gift, nice clothes and shoes and a nice food. The food that I never eat always. So. Here, every child is waiting for a gift. And this gift come in January, day 26. And this is the day you will find they are celebrating on the street, throwing candies to people, throwing 
toys for children. It's like the whole town is coming together on the street. We have security, we have what, which is different to Kenya. We don't have that, like the three kings walking in the street. No. Christmas, open your gift, finished. January, go to church, celebrate, finished. Pray to your God. But here, it's a different thing. Open gifts, take seats. And that is when you see the children are happy. This is the time when you find no one will wake up the child. The children will wake up themselves to open their gift. Other than to other days that um, they have to be wakened by parents to go to school. But this is because they are gift, they will wake up by themselves. They are waiting for toys. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. Other things. It's the first day they wake up early by themselves. Mm. So can you explain to me this carnival? Carnival thing. The way they one day celebrate the February. They wear costume and they <sighs> I don't remember what it was, but they, the people, use their costumes, costume, costumes, and make like the three kings. They make tracks. They transformer like with their costumes, mm. and the people use costumes and make a big line, and they are running, walking around the town, and everybody sit there. Mm. And they are celebrating that, uh, I don't remember how to say, the, the songs for they carnival. Are, they, are. they celebrate carnival songs contest. Um, carnival? Song contest. Uh -huh. Song contest. In uh -huh. Cadiz, in the capital, in, in a big theater, very nice, very old theater. The, Arabians make that theater. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, I need to drink water. water. doing it or not but Spanish celeb uh, do have the thing of uh, cock fighting the rooster fight yeah. yeah they was doing before but now I, I don't hear that anybody are doing with that hmm. when I was children I see a lot of times so how do this cock do, do fight how do they fight they do sing like the bull fight but it's small Mm -hmm. They are to still maybe 30, 30 people no more, and it's more around now, like uh, this, this alone. Mm -hmm. And they leave the, the rusted there alone, and they fight by themselves because it's in the blood of them, they want to fight. <laughs> they um, they normally, train them. Normally, the 800% of the situations, the other one is die. Oh. Yeah. So what will they do with the one that is there? They just eat or, or grow. <laughs> and they just use for, for good money. Oh, we have money too? Of course. So for what they go? Oh, I see. I so think that will, that will win. No, the red win. Okay, how much do you... Do you so the one which win get money? Who's, uh, who's win? Uh -huh. You know, it's weird. I've never heard of that. I'm just hearing here. Who's win normally may give a, take a premium. I've heard also the Philippines. The people are the there country. watching, are uh, making a poster. I don't know how to say in English. Mm -hmm. You say, I, I, I think that will, that will be the winner. Ah, uh, they like guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The people are there looking for. 
look in the I think the Philippines have that kind of culture too. Yeah, I think in Philippines they do that mm. too. I've, in Thailand, yeah. I've never heard of cock fight in Kenya, but even if we have if uh, for my subs uh, my viewers here or subscribers here from Kenya, please comment in the comment section if we have cock fighting or rooster fight in Kenya. And cock fighting, what is cock? Cock, cock fight or rooster fight. What is cock? It's rooster too. Ah, it's the way to cock. Yeah. So comment in the comment section if we have this uh, this fight of the rooster. Let let us know if your place they are fighting that in uh, in Western Kenya. I've never heard of that. Thing. And how do they grow this cock that they make them be able to fight? They put them in a closed place to have stress, or they train, or all like that. No, they they of course they have to put a ball no for the strength because if they live freely that the western will be killing everyone. No, like when they are preparing this to grow and they fight. Yeah, they make it say they have a, they get a stick mm. and still punching him, plugging in the in the legs. Ah, to get strong. Yeah. <laughs> When I was children, I remember half around mm -hmm. eight years, I see the men doing like that. Mm -hmm. Say, what are you flagging the women's To be strong. To do something bad than one. <laughs> no, that is for make strong. To fight. Yeah, because he jump and the legs gonna be strong. Uh, <laughs> if you killing the, the animal slow to slow. But it's their culture. Yeah, it's but it's time. wicked. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> that had to be printed. But now it's culture, we have to deal with it. Another thing here is uh, people here. They're going to say know, it's a tradition. Yeah, it's a tradition. You can't to stop that. In, in Africa too, in Kenya, it's a tradition. It's very hard to stop this thing. Yeah. Even you find the ministers who have to stop, they are the ones who have bull, they are doing yeah, that. Yeah, but the slow to slow is stopping. Mm -hmm. So, Another thing I don't know is number 10 or 9. Here, <laughs> I forget to count. Here in Spain, the a lot of majority here are Christians, you know? They are the Catholic. They are Catholic. Yeah. But uh, when you die, you die today, tomorrow they are going to bury you or cremate you. Contrary to Africa, it's not no more like you just... Uh, die today and tomorrow unless when it was corona when they started doing that but now it's not normal they wait they call people and here you don't eat in the funeral in kenya especially where i was born luya and the luo people nyanza in the funeral oof, we eat. Hmm? We eat. Specifically, yeah, some the people. When the people here see a video of the funeral, they don't know what is that. When I say it's a funeral, really, they look like in a party. <laughs> here the people are crying and so sad and serious. We cry too, but we cry and eat. Hmm? Yeah, because they don't understand. He's now living with God, you have to be happy. Finally, he lived this fucking world. <laughs> so, in Western Kenya, under the Luo, we eat. We eat in the funeral. But here in Spain, no. You just go there to see. And especially sometimes for me, I never know when someone I is dying. I want you, bro, you write in my coffin. I don't, for, by myself. I don't want to see anybody crying. I want to be... To see everybody smiling no. and celebrating. Finally, I leave this tired of work. No, don't say that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So if I see someone crying, I will back <laughs> to your house. <laughs> mm. So you see, that's how it happened in funeral here in Spain. There is no waiting. Once you die, it's gone. Tomorrow you will be going to cremation. 
or you will be going in the barrio in the um, in the grave. Yeah, with the midday we finish quickly and too mm. small. And uh, what do they do? That ash, the family will decide. Sometimes the <coughs> sometimes the, if like they will put in the pot and uh, buy some place where in that, that uh, cemetery, they put in one place all the family. When you die, they open, they put your ashes yeah, there. And with that, die. they are making business. They have a lot of so, shoes there. So you will find like one family, their ashes in one place, you know. Whenever you die, the other one, they are going to open, add there the ash. Open, die, put there the ash. And those who put in the grave, sometimes you will find it's just one big place. They, if they put their father or their mother like in a grave, and maybe the others, when they come, they now they start like uh, cremating, and they will go and uh, make space to that uh, grave where they will be bringing ash, and they put there. Another one died, they bring ash, put it there. Another they one. have that in this country, but yeah. It's the first time when I go I see that because normally people bring their ass in the, in the ass home. house or draw in the sea Where the because it's the, wish, the, 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 the last wish of the, the, the family. Another thing we Africans we find strange, pets. Pets for us like a, a dog is the one to take care of you, to protect you at home. But here in Spain, <laughs> or, yeah? Depending, I see some dogs you can see in the street. You have a string, where's the dog? It's gone. The dog is like this. What defends that dog? Small dog. Oh. It's for pets. Mm. I look at, like a mouse. <laughs> yeah, some dogs here are very small. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, it's here. a project, a project don't find no dog. Mm. Here, pets are like family some people will just say i don't want to have children i have dogs i have my cat i have my birds i have my chicken that's it but it, you see here animals and the birds are pets and even to when this animal sometimes die like your dog or your cat will die these people will go mourning they will mourn they will cry they are so sad and you have to pay to cremate your dog. Huh? Yeah. Oh my God. In some place, are even cemeteries for the pets. I had him tell me. You pay where you have to go and cremate your dog or you bury your dog. It's weird in Africa. A dog die, just you dig somewhere, put, finished. And nobody cry. No. They don't love the animals. We love, but you not like morning. We mourn like we mourn people. I remember one one girl. I'm in not school. sure. I've never seen of that. I remember one day in the school, one girl reaching the class, the class, and she start to cry, cry, cry like a children. The professor asked her what happened. Oh, because today we had to borrow on a cow. I was growing that cow from the baby. <laughs> Margarita. Yeah, a cow for us, we will we will feel sad because you know a cow is. A and lot the dogs know. A cow is a lot of money, and one thing a cow will give you meat. So you cry for the money, not for the animal. A cow will give you meat. A cow will give you milk. Mm -hmm, you know. So you cry because you can't eat that meat. No, I can't eat and I can't have money. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> so here people mourn. If they are cats, dogs, or <laughs> <You're mean. laughs> so another thing here, you know, I always tell you the culture in my country. You know, in it's Kenya, the only, it's, not it's the only one. It's not normal. It's the only people, one. People, people see you as like you are weird. What do you want to show people? Hugging. I don't Easy, want to show nothing. I just feel nice hung, hung, holding the, the hand of my wife. Loving, kissing in the public. In in Africa, people see like that is weird. Yeah, but really I don't care what the people think. I do what the, the, that they want. But that's the, even the old people are doing here. 
Yes. Everybody, that is the normal. Yeah, everybody do it. In yeah. everywhere around the world. No, not around the world. In Only Africa. in Africa is in where Africa they is don't. Not in Kenya, no in Africa. No, nearly all Africa is not normal. Nearly all is not normal. Maybe few people will, but maybe in the city, some will do that. But in the village, it's not normal. No? Yeah. So also, I find it so strange here. Uh, like, uh, if my parent is a single mother or a single father, and I am big enough, I'm married too, I have children, they can have partners. They can bring like my if my father can bring the girlfriend at home. They are kissing. They are hugging in front of me, and I'm okay here in Spain. But in Africa, children will fight. A lot of children don't like that. Uh, no, everybody, but mm -hmm. yeah. Here, I find the children are very much relaxed, and they will also be happy to do that. To see the parents having their partner, they don't fight, they say, oh, mommy have a, a, her own life, she need to be happy, she need to have uh, someone close to her. But in Africa, the children will say, no, I have to protect my mother, I have to protect my father, I don't want this, I don't want this, you know. It's okay, some may be, may be, it may be happen, like you, but you'll find children are not happy to see that. My, my father bringing another young lady home or a woman at home. My father, my mother bringing a man at home. It's, they will not like it. Yeah. Biggest percent. Don't, um, here, I call my mother-in-law mommy or mama. But here in Spain, or Mama it's, Anna. Yeah, it's just normal to call your parents-in-law by the name. I call Anna, it's normal, and she's okay. I call your father, Sebastian, and it's okay. You call my parents the name, it's okay. Yeah, here in Spain. Yeah. But in Africa, it's like you are losing control. You don't respect, you know. They always say you don't respect. Yeah. So, so it's, it, that's a different But part. sometimes I don't call the people for the name. I will forget what is the name. <laughs> no, you don't forget, but we address by... Who say that? I forget everything. We, we, it's, we, it's like respect for us. I have to call my mother-in-law, mommy, which is your mother. I have to call mommy. You have to call my parents, mommy and daddy. Maybe the father is okay, but even your brothers? Your brother you have to call, like, to address, like, uh, you can address them the name, because they are like your brother, but the in-laws. Mm. But more important, my grandparents, my aunties, my uncles, the way I address them, uncle, you have to address uncle. I say mommy, you have to say mommy. Daddy, you have to say daddy. Not nafasi. No. You have to say daddy. Mommy. Not I go. Daddy nafas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's weird. Then next in Africa. They don't have nafas. <laughs> in Africa. We have our different name. We call after, after our ancestors, not all, but some people like where we was born, we call after our ancestors. Or we call uh, sometimes people in the village, we'll find a big person, an elderly die in the village. We will call that. They can, I can call after my mother, I can call after my grandmother. Or I can call after my auntie, or I call the name after my and my uncle, whichever like the ancestors. If I get a baby, I can call that name. But here in Spain, no. Or maybe say in Europe, my child should have the first name. It should be a property name, yeah. Of course. Yeah, like Mary. 
that's a property name. David is a property name. Then in the middle is the name of the father, yeah? Then the last name is my second name. Mm -hmm. That's how That is, is how we know from which family are you coming. Yeah, but in Africa it's different. The second, the, the, the second name of the mother is Luz. Yeah, for us, the name of the mother don't appear. For the next appear. generation is Luz. Yeah, for us it's Luz complete. We don't call after our mothers. Here, the name of the mother, the name of the father, always keep on going. And that's how they know the family. Even if you go in the government, they will not accept another name, yeah? They accept the name of the family. That's the culture. But in Africa, you can just name, just name after ancestors. That is why here yeah. your name is making it so confusing. <laughs> Everybody asks, the Asaba is the first name, is the name, or the Apegido is the second name. It's confusing. Yeah, yeah they, are, they are making the positive way. <laughs> in Africa, the name of, uh, okay, I don't know other part of Africa, but in Kenya, specifically the name of the mother is lost. And the name of the father is so, the, one, the one that keeps on recurring, the father. But not even the father, like uh, here, you know, you will keep on going with the name Ramos, 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 yeah? Mm -hmm. But in Kenya, because they will give you the same and the other name they give you from the ancestors is the one that will go on with the next child, you know. That's how it happened. Mm. So another thing here. In Spain, you can call your child your name. If uh, I can call my first daughter, Mary, and that's it. I am Mary, my daughter is Mary. You can, he can call his son his first son, David. His, his David, his first son is David. And it's okay like that. In Africa, it doesn't happen like that. You too. And you can change a little bit, David Junior. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but in Africa, that is not like that. It's not happening like that. You give the child his or her property name. Mm. So, guys, you have something mm. else? I sleep a lot of sleep. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't have to open my mouth. <laughs> it's too late. Tomorrow we have to go in the church. Yeah. So, guys, this is the things I find so much strange. Culture difference. And See everybody. Kindly. What is that? All the time is loose. La pasanada. Almost one. Yeah. I find that to be so strange and uh, that's the culture difference. Kindly put in the comment section the culture difference between, between where you are and let and us don't know. Don't forget to pray to God three times per day. Believe in God, trust in God and follow him. Mm -hmm. And subscribe. Yeah. I said that before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Subscribe, Goodbye. like, comment, and... Goodbye, we uh, love you. We'll see you in the next video.